things currently stand. How does this impact the Paytm customer and banks? Well, Yash is here now to explain that. Yash, for Paytm customers, what does this mean? Well, Shirin, in the light of uh, these RBI restrictions on payments bank, uh, it becomes very important for customers also to understand what they can and what they can't do uh, under these restrictions. Uh, so, uh, I mean, just to compile a list in terms of how do customers behave uh, under such restrictions? First thing, all the pay Paytm Payments Bank customers will be allowed to withdraw or utilize the existing wallet balance which they have without any restrictions. Second point, once that wallet balance has been utilized or withdrawn, then in that case, no further top-ups or credit transactions will be allowed to those Paytm uh, Payment Bank wallets uh, after February 29th. Third one, there is no curb or restriction on interest cashback refund. So if you're getting any interest cashback refund post February 29th also, there won't be any restrictions with respect to it being credited to your account. The fourth one is post February 29th, uh, only fund transfers, bill payment services and UPI transactions will be allowed. This is very important for customers since uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, uh, very frequently used services. So there won't be any restrictions on these ones. Finally, no other banking transactions except for the three to four transactions which I spoke about will be allowed post-February 29th. Now, as far as Paytm's business is concerned, there are three major businesses. Uh, payments, financial services and cloud and commerce. Financial services is the most attractive one and that is the segment which gets hit the most. As far as the bank is concerned, what the RBI order means for the banks, no further deposits, top-ups on wallets. Second one, no further credit transactions will be allowed. Third one, nodal accounts of 197 communications and Paytm payment services will be terminated latest by February 29th. Shirin, one very important point, uh, uh, RBI has spoken about non-compliance, persistent non-compliance and continued material supervisory concerns. In many previous orders, wherever these kind of terms are used by RBI, there's always this particular additional term where RBI says that, you know, the, 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 the restrictions will be eased out once a compliance is done uh, to the satisfactory point of RBI. But that particular reference remains absent in this particular order, which eventually adds more uncertainty in terms of how uh, does pay pay Paytm Payments Bank really come out of these restrictions or, you know, sort of comply with uh, what RBI requires out of it. Yes, you're right, uh, Yash. We are, of course, waiting to hear from the company. We